guys, I am Shubh Gupta and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my previous video, I discussed about what is IoT and why do we need it. And I also promised you that I will make a video on IoT in which we can control a bulb from a mobile phone or a laptop too. So in this video, we will make a small project in which we can control a LED bulb with a mobile phone. So let's get started. Now, let's quickly look into the components we need. So, the hardware we need are node MCU, a relay 5 watt 1 channel, some jumper wires, and the software we need is Arduino IDE. So, the step 1 will be connecting the relay to the node MCU. Start the connection. This is the node MCU. This is the relay. And for connecting them both, we we'll need some jumper wires, female to female. So the port B1 will be connected to the port of, of the relay input. So the D1 port will be connected to the end port of the relay. Now the second wire we have to connect it to the ground to the ground. We have to connect the ground of the node MCU to the ground of the relay. So the ground is right over here. The ground to the ground of the Relay. So the next wire will be connected to the 3B3 of the node MCU which is right over here to the VCC port of the relay. So the connection of the node MCU to the relay is complete. Now we will connect the bulb holder to the Relay and the LED holder and make sure that LED holder has the two wires attached to it. So just take uh, one wire from the LED holder and cut it from center. I already I already cut it so these both two ends will be connected to the normally closed and the normally oh, sorry normally open and the commonly open of the relay. So let's connect it. We have to unscrew this screw a little and then plug in the first wire normally closed and then screw it again. and second time again So now our connection to the bulb holder to the relay is also complete which means all the hardware work is complete. Now let's take the step to the software work. So let's start the software work. In the software work we will upload a program to the node MCU by using the editor called Arduino IDE. We have to download that Arduino IDE with the help of Google. So open Google open Google load 
और डी नो आई डी ई एंड क्लिक ऑन दी फर्स्ट लिंक यू गेट आर डी नोज ऑफिशियल साइट ओपन एंड जस्ट स्क्रोल अ बिट डाउन एंड सेलेक्ट योर ओ एस इन माई केस इट इज आर विंडोज टेन सो आई एम क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस आफ्टर दिस स्क्रोल अ बिट डाउन एंड क्लिक जस्ट डाउनलोड I have already downloaded the Arduino IDE, so I'm not going to download it again. Arduino IDE basically depends upon the Arduino boards, and uh, it has it don't it don't have the Node MCU in the, its menu list. So we have to add Node MCU in the menu list. So uh, for doing that, so we have to download the ESP library. So for doing that, so you have to copy a URL. from writing this esp code you have to get hub click on it and copy and copy this link control c and go to arduino ide and just type control comma preferences dialog box opens and you have to paste paste this url in the additional board manager urls and click on okay so you have to download now the library for doing that so just go to tools tools board board manager so write e s p in the search box and click on the second box you get and click on install i've already installed it it's about of 200 mb now go to file sorry so go to tools board and some additional board will appear go down and you will be able to see node mc 1.0 esp 12 e module click on that so you have in, uh, you now you have installed the node mcu library so now we have set up the environment for uploading the programs into the node mcu by using the ide now let's open the arduino ide now you have to connect your node mcu to the laptop i have already uh, connected the node mcu to my laptop when the node mcu will be connected to the laptop your laptop will give the uh, node mcu a communication port in my case it is com4 you can check the communication port by going on device manager and ports and clicking on the arrow here it is written com4 so now we have to upload the program to the node mcu and you also have to install the blink library so you can install the blink library by going to tools manage libraries and it will download the list of in install library so right now so it will take a bit time so now write in search box blink and download the first library ide basically library manager depends upon the arduino boards version 0.6.1 you have to find this blink library in the examples also as arduino ide provides the provides many examples so in just it. open But arduino ide copy this copy this link of program from my description my video description also you have to you have to upload the 
a sketch into the node MCU. For doing that, so first check the your uh, C serial is one com port the one that is given in your device manager which is com4 only and the board is node mc only so now you can start uploading this program so now you can click the upload button over here so the uploading is also done finally we are ready to test our project now so till now we have connected the relay to the node mcu by the three jumper wires the port D1 was connected to the port of relay input and the ground of the node MCU to the ground of the relay and 3V3 of the node MCU to the VCC of the relay and we have up, uh, uploaded a blink program to the node MCU and connected the bulb holder to the relay. So now uh, let's test our project. I hope you like my first IP tutorial. You would have noticed that I haven't done the configuration of the Blink app. So in the next video, I'll show you how you can configure the Blink app. And I'll show you how you can control the same LED bulb with your voice also. So don't forget to watch my next video and do like and subscribe my channel and press the bell button to get all the notifications of my all new videos. So thanks for watching.